It's time for IT certification review. This is a little late as I achieved this certification around November 2020. Take note, I got this certification the second time because I let the first one expired. In this video, we're going to take a look at F5 Certified Big IP Administrator or F5CA. One of the best entry-level certification in the industry. But it's very underrated, I would say. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, my name is Dean Armada, and I am your career and certification captain, also known as 3Cs. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, what is F5? It's an IT vendor who provides application delivery controller and security solutions. And their most popular product is FI Big IP. This device can perform many different functions, such as load balancing, web application firewall, SSL, VPN, and many others. To achieve this certification, you need to pass two exams. The first one is F5101, Application Delivery Fundamentals. At the time of this recording, the exam blueprint version is 13.1 and it's quite different than the previous version because before it's around 70% networking, 25% application and the remaining 5% is all about F5 solutions. F5101, the current version, includes basic F5 big IP concepts. You need to know not only load balancing but also some of the application objects such as virtual servers, pools, monitors, etc. And even high availability. You need to know the configuration and monitoring using both the graphical user interface and CLI. But don't worry, it's all simple, it's all basic. It's really a good idea for you to know all of these concepts at the early stage of your certification journey because you will be needing it on the next exam, which is F5201. The type of exam for F5101 is multiple choice, single answer, no lab simulations. If you are already CCNA and you have a solid background in networking, such as 802.1Q, VLANs, IP addressing, subnetting, routing, TCP, etc., you have already covered at least 50%. You just need to work with your F5 basics and application concepts. And among all applications, the exam focuses heavily on web-based technologies like HTTP and TLS. The cost of the exam is only 180 US dollars. If you failed, at least you lost only 180 USD. Preparation time. Assuming you are already familiar with network concepts, it would take, let's say, one, two, three weeks. So that preparation time is sufficient enough. And it would also help if you do some lab practices, but not required. Once you pass F5101, you won't get anything. You wouldn't be certified yet. There is no such thing as F5101 certified but you will be eligible to take the next exam, which is F5201 TMOS Administration. F5201 can be really tricky, and I highly recommend you to do some lab practices. You need to be familiarize yourself with graphical user interface, also known as F5 Configuration Utility, CLI, also known as TMSH and a little of Linux basic commands. It's significantly important for you to understand more than the basic concepts of virtual servers, pools, 
persistence, high availability profile, etc. I'm not only talking about configuration and monitoring here. I am talking about troubleshooting as well. There will be some overlaps from F5101, of course, because in F5101, you were building foundation. Preparing for F5201, you are simply taking the next step or another level. Preparation time. Here is the good part. If you find F5101 easy, that means you have built a solid foundation of various technologies and you have covered at least 50% of F5201. I would say one to two month preparation is sufficient enough. It still depends on your expertise and working experience. Again, you need to spend more time on labs. The cost of F5201 exam is also 180 US dollars. Both exams consist of 80 questions. The length of both exams is 90 minutes, but it will give you another 30 minutes if you are in a country where English is not the primary language. What's that again? There is a special treatment for those people who are living in a country who can't read and understand English very well? That's kind of a racist, don't you think? There is no other certification exams or vendor in the world that gives this kind of privilege. Anyway, both exams have no dumps. Whatever you see in the internet, those are not valid. Don't waste your precious time and money. But I have a good news. I have materials that will help you pass both exams. F5101 and 201, the first stick. Open a web browser and type www.zurian.com. This will take you to the Zurian website. Click training and this will redirect you to the training webpage. Here you will see various courses. You can filter F5 courses and now only F5 related courses are displayed, such as F5101 exam preparation, F5201 exam preparation, and building F5 Big IP Lab for free. I know what you're thinking. What would benefit you if you obtain this certification? First, you will learn many things, more than networking, more than applications, more than load balancing. This prepares you in cybersecurity, cloud and data center career path. You may want to argue with me, but for starters, F5CA is the best complement to your CCNA, especially if you are just starting your IT career. F5 Big IP is an application delivery controller. This sits in front of many servers. As a solution, it runs network application and Linux services with cool features such as load balancing, application level security, VPNs, and many more. All large companies, they run application delivery controllers in their data centers. And F5 has always been the leading solution ever since they introduced F5 Big IP to the market. Take note of this. F5 Big IP is a very expensive platform. If you are certified and skilled on this product, of course, company will pay you more than the average network engineers. Having a vendor specific certification is really important. Here is an analogy. If you have a Ferrari, yes, that luxurious sports car. Who would you choose to maintain your Ferrari, your car? First, a guy who is certified maintaining Ferraris, and this is a specialty. And the second, a guy who claims he can maintain all brands of cars, including Ferrari. Of course, no debate, you would choose the first one. Many people see or believe F5CA as an advanced level certification. No, it's an entry level certification. And again, it complements your CCNA. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification 
first exam content. I will give this 5 out of 5. Relevance to current technology. Also, 5. Well, it's because it provides good foundation in networking, applications, and F5 Big IP. Also, it relates to security, cloud, and data center. Next, value for money. I will also give this 5, since both F5 101 and 201 exams are cheaper than most exams. And the product itself is widely recognized. So, do you agree with my ratings? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below.